Hey guys, it's Kimmy. Um, I wanted to show you a haul that I did today. Uh, me and Bam Bam went out and kind of had a retail therapy day. And just got away from um, so much stuff that's going on at home right now. And just had a girls day. And um, I went to Michael's and I also went to Tuesday mornings in um, Walmart. So I was going to show you the Michael's haul and then do a second video for Tuesday morning in Walmart. Because I did buy a... A bit of stuff at uh, Michael's, so um, let's get started. Um, I purchased some bead boxes because, um, honestly, I needed more. Um, I just have a OCD tendency when it comes to my beads. Like everything needs to be sorted by like color families. Like I got a pink bead box. I got a blue one, an orange one, a yellow, and um. I needed some more bead boxes for my charms and stuff, and these were only a dollar nineteen. And um, they come in like these little plastic thingies, and I really like these ones just because, like, you don't have to worry about like the little dividers. Like, say you go to, you know, mess around trying to get to the bottom of the bead pile or whatever, and the divider slides up, and then all your beads are like completely separated. You don't have that problem with these because like the dividers are part of the box and I really really love that part about these boxes because you know it's just like so so and it just snaps closed. So I purchased four of those just for um because I want some for my charms that I got that haven't gone in the boxes or jars yet and I also want some for the paper beads that I've been making so they have a home of their own, I guess. So, I got those. Let me set those over here. Let me get rid of the garbage because I've been terrible about cleaning up after myself in here. Okay, I also needed um, some, what do you call it? I didn't need any of this really. I just went but to have fun. But, um,. Okay, so I have this project in mind for BAM, and I want to kind of make it like a surprise um, project for her, and I was going to make her some wall, like mini wall art for her bathroom, and so when I was there last week, I seen these super cute 4 inch by 4 inch um, two pack of canvases, so I thought these would be perfect like for like a little wall picture collage type thingy for her. And so this is just going to be like my surprise present from her, or from her, not from her. And then I got this pin here because I want to make an altered pin for um, this journal swap that I'm doing. And so before I send out the swap um, gift, I want to send a pin with it. And um, what else? I, I got a stamp. I just fell in love with a stamp. I walked by it like three times. And then I finally broke down and decided I was going to get it. I just, I love it. And I thought I could make my own paper with that. It's super gorge. So I got it. And then I got some of this. Um, if you watched my previous video to this with my caster um, Shabby Chic embellishments. Um, I taught you how to use Sculpty to um, make some molds for your, your caster plastic. Caster plastic. Your casting plaster, sorry guys. But, um, so I found this at Michael's. It was $20 and it's called Amazing Mold Putty. And it's like a two part system. You mix half and half and, um, together and you can make your own silicone molds. So I wanted to try that and see how that works out. Um, I thought it'd be super fun to do. So, yeah, I got that. Um, I also picked up another little thingy of plaster that I used in my um, tutorial here on YouTube. I didn't really need to. Like, you can see in my, from my tutorial, like, I have a ton left. But the price is, like, right, so why not stock up? You know? So, I got another one of those. And, um, I got a Tim Holtz Distress Tool. Like, everybody knows, like, if you watch my video and I do a distressing type video, um, I use this. I purchased it at the dollar store, and it's actually a foot scrubber, but, um, I purchased it for my craft room. And I love this, but, um, I'm a Tim Holtz junkie. 
I won't lie to you. Like, anything Tim Holtz, his name's on it, I need it, and I don't know why. So, <laughs> um, I figured I'd give this a shot and try it. Like, why not, right? So, I got that. And, um, I also picked up two, um, paint pens, and this is in gold and silver. Um, gold leaf and silver leaf pens. So, I picked those two up. And, um... Oh, I picked up some more little um, pearl sprays in the wedding aisle. I think this box cost me like nine bucks, but there's like a ton of them in there. This will last me a really long time, so I got that. Then I also got this a plastic palette knife set for like a dollar fifty, two dollars. And um, the project I want to do coming up, I'm gonna need this, so I I got that. Um, let's see. What do I want to show you next? Okay. That came from Walmart. Some of that over. I picked up a package of Distress Stains. Um, honestly, I haven't bought any. I don't know why. I've been wanting to go through Simon Says Stamp and purchase all of them all at once instead of buying like these little individual expensive packs. It's cheaper to do it that way, but I just... I haven't done it yet, and so I decided I was going to go and try them, and if I really like them and get addicted to them, I'll go to Simon Says Stamps and, and do it. I haven't tried it yet, so it's like not a big deal that I haven't used it, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get, yeah, get addicted like everything else Tim holds for me. Um, I picked up some blending tools for my um, colored pencils. The other ones were like, they're getting down to like little nubs. So I picked up a little package of those. These are what you use, um, let me see right here, Gamasaw with, with your colored pencils to sort of get like the Copic effect. And like, these ones are like really, they were started out really, really long. They're about as, they're smaller than the palm of my hand now, so. And they, they started out, like, maybe being a foot long. So, I got some more of those. Um, I picked some Adirondack inks up. I kind of broke open the package just to make sure these weren't the ones I bought last time. So, yeah, I bought those. Um, okay. Oh, this too. I bought this um, in my other tutorial. Um, I was talking to you about, like, different molds and stuff you can use. Um, this is actually a fondant or gum paste mold by Welton. I don't know if you can... Okay. And, um, but I use this for, um, uh, my plaster. I use this with res... not with resin. Okay, because resin and beauty kind of get, like, this, like, cloudy texture because the way the mold is but I've used this with um, plaster sculpty and also the Martha Stewart mold clay sorry guys gotta get the drink <coughs> Ugh, okay it's like pollen season here in, in Washington so I kind of tend to get my eyes get itchy my throat gets itchy my nose gets runny it's all crazy for me, but anyways, look at the, the gorgeous, like, they got leaves and birds, like, check out that bird right there, like, I don't know if you can see him in great detail, but he is absolutely fantastic, and then there's, like, these great cherry blossoms and stuff, these are gonna be so cool in plaster, like, look at this bird right here and his wings, so I picked that up. There was another one I wanted. These are like $9.99 uh, um, a mold, but I know you can also pick them up at Walmart, and I think they're slightly cheaper, but I've never seen this one here at Walmart before. And I opened it up at the package really quick before I started the video because um, I have the hardest time with these, these packages, but, so, but I wanted to be able to show you like this as an idea towards um, using plaster and stuff like that. Okay, um, Bam found these really cute little, um, 65 cent wood pieces. And, like, the little birdhouse, or the bird cages, like these two bird cages. And then these, like, really cute gorge birds. So, um, we got two of each of those, just because one for, set for her, one set for me. And, um, oh, and then I found these cute little 50 cent wood pieces. 
they need some work and some love. Like, they need to be cleaned up a lot. But look how cute are these. Anybody who knows me knows I'm in the teapots and teacups. So, I got those. Um, okay. I picked these up in the 50 cent bin. And they're actually, um, wine glass rings. But I was like, okay, well, forget the wine glass. Those, those beads on there are gorge. These look like the Prima beads that just came out winter CHA. And they're 50 cents for three of them. Plus, you get all these extra beads and a wine ring. So, and you can use that ring for other things. So, I got the green, the yellow, and the clear. Or, no, wait, this is light blue. It looks like clear, but it's light blue. So, I got those, the, all the colors they had. Basically, the last of the packages they had. Um, I also picked up two packages of these in the, the um, jewelry and, like, bead section. And they're really cute, like, gears and gadgets. I haven't opened them yet. Maybe I'll open them and show you. They're, like, super cute. And I thought they would go really good for, like, steampunk projects and stuff for, like, swaps. Because, like, when I did this last project, I didn't have anything steampunk. Let's see. Like, and they're just, like, this is, like, a little brass. Look here. And, and there are all sorts of different ones. Like, here's a silver one that looks completely different than that one. But, yeah, this bag is full. It says, let me tell you how many pieces does it say? I put it back in the bag. It says 90 pieces total. And I picked up a whole other package of them, so... Pull these staples out before I hurt myself on them. Okay, sorry guys, it's kind of been a long day. I'm space, spacing out. So, this is a little package that goes with them. And then I just picked up another package. And then I found these, and it was the only package they had. But look at those bead caps. Like, uh, I've, those are like the prettiest filigree bead caps I've ever seen, I think. So I picked up a package of those. And then by the same manufacturer, they had like these really gorge, um... Like floral bead caps. Like they're kind of probably hard, really hard to see. The package, but there's 12 pieces. You get it in copper, bronze, or wait, copper, antique, gold, and silver. But super pretty. And then I picked up these, and they're from Bead Landing, and they're like mini bottle caps. And I like how cute are those? Oh, so I had to get them. And then I also found like the little epoxy stickers. That go to the bottle caps. So, like, those would be super cute and minis and stuff. So, I picked those up. And then I found these on clearance, and it's 250 jump rings for $1.99, originally $4.99. So, I had to get those because that's, that's a steal, right? And they are some pretty 5.5 uh, um, millimeter jump rings. So, there's some pretty, like, substantial and 4.5 millimeter the small ones but let me see if I can move this and tell you okay 18 gauge jump rings that's some pretty substantial jump rings I think like that's gonna you know take some weight okay so and I also picked up some Mod Podge and this one is the matte version okay and then uh oh I picked up some Scott's Quick Dry Adhesive. Um, I don't know if you guys are looking for a totally awesome um, quick dry paint or paint glue. I love this glue. This is my favorite, all time favorite glue. I use this like, I think the price point for this is like six and some change, so seven bucks basically. It says it's made in USA. I love that. Okay, so if you're looking for a really good glue, I love Scott's Quick Dry. And then I also picked up some gold, golden, um, heavy gel. So, because this is for the project for BAM. And then some stuff that I didn't intend on picking up, but me and BAM were cruising the clearance aisle, seeing what they had to offer. And I found this, um, it's originally $8.99. It was on clearance for $2.49. And it is the Deco Art Texture. And it's the crackle medium. 
in deco art texture. And then she found this one. I found the crackle. Bam found the glass texture. But the, the picture on the top looks like it's pretty cool. Like, see? I think that'd be fun to play with. So for for two dollars and forty nine cents, the original price is nine bucks, eight ninety nine. Oh, if you can see that. But like for that much of a discount, like why not play with it and, and find out if you like it, right? And then also we were still cruising the clearance aisle and we come up with these. And I never used this product before, so I guess we'll try, right? Um, it's seven ninety nine original price and I paid $2.39 for this and what it is is Beacon Fast Finish Decoupage uh, medium and it seals and bonds paper fabric uh, paper and fabric to wood metal glass or ceramic so I'm like how cool is that and it's um, crystal clear lacquer for decoupage and then I also found it um, in a gloss um, decoupage sealer, and this is seven and ninety nine, and I paid two dollars and twenty four cents. And it's tack free, waterproof, crystal clear. So, like you know, how, like I was thinking, I want to try this because you know how like sometimes Mod Podge leaves that sticky film. I'm wondering if you just spray this over it, and you get that like slick um, feeling like you do when you use um, clotting helmets. Studio mat, you know. So I got two of those bottles, thinking that that might solve my tacky problem. So um, that's my haul from uh, Michaels, and stay tuned, and I'll show you the haul from um, Tuesday mornings and Walmart. Okay, totally, you guys. See you in the next video.